Good morning, folks. Let's start with a correction. Yesterday, I said that Noah agreed with my Friday night CME impact analysis, when in fact, maybe my eyes aren't exactly top gun at 3.45 a.m., because Noah indeed predicts impact tomorrow, just like NASA. I am still confident that an earlier impact is possible tonight. The last 24 hours have been a story of silence on our star, as though the Earth-facing solar quiet realized it had messed up, sent one our way, and is now hands over his mouth crouched down hoping he hasn't messed up royally. About all we have to look at is the incoming active region down south trumpeted in by some beautiful coronal plasma. So, how quiet has it been? Over at spaceweathernews.com, we see the sun utterly flatlined after the M3 blast. We got that one flare in CME, but how much more will we get? I wouldn't bet on a lot, at least not today. The sunspot responsible for our watch is in further decay, having lost its gamma classification here. The Earth-facing quiet will test the incoming spots down south next. The solar wind is calming, along with the magnetic disruptions at Earth. That will make CME impact easily noticeable amidst the telemetry. Due to this coronal hole and a likely sunspot peak, there is a high earthquake watch until the geomagnetic disruptions from that CME begin. Let's go to our top stories, which include a gorgeous video from NASA on Mars atmosphere loss from solar wind. Admittedly, I wanted to start with something nice because that's the last of it this morning. Folks, there are major flood events all over the world right now. We haven't reported much on places like Brazil, where a dam broke, or Jordan, where a one-hour rainfall is causing chaos, and in Kenya, and in the Middle East, the water is dominating the trouble on Earth right now. Top storm alerts come again to the northwest Indian Ocean as another cyclone intensifies. We're going to run through the Climate Extremes event in the United States, followed by the other top viewer locations, a sugar-based stand-in for the current conditions where I'm going to show you a glimpse into the future. Then, it's shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, <laughs> come